Okay, so I want to show you how to write a little program where the ball uh, moves around following physics. So it behaves like uh, a little bit like a real ball will in the real world. So to do that, uh, we're going to need to learn a little bit of physics and a little bit of math. So I'll try to make it uh, fun. So this is the basic idea. Here's the ball, right? As you hopefully know, the ball is at an x location and y location. So currently, we can see that it is at x equals 1, y equals 8. So that's its current location, you know, as we move the ball around right here. Uh, its x and y location change, and you can see that over there. Oops. <laughs> um, so there it is. Um, so whoop, put that back in there. What I want to do is um, draw here. So let's say this is the center of the ball, right? That's the x and y location of the ball. Uh, right now, minus 15 and 6. The way we implement motion in video games and physics uh, simulations is the following way. We say that uh, the ball has this vector. We call it the velocity vector, usually. So that is velocity. And so if the ball is at this point here, next time it's going to be at the end of the arrow, right? Because that this is this velocity. So the velocity tells us where the ball is going to be next time. The time, you know, is going to depend on uh, your animation rate. So basically each time, and uh, the way you animate is you draw the ball, then draw it again and again in a different location every time. And um, so that's why we meant next time. So um, you know, draw here, next time it's going to be here, next time it's going to be over here. And maybe the velocity changes, and so next time, so they add a horizontal arrow, so that means next time it's going to be here. The velocity changes to that, this arrow here, that means next time it's going to be over there. Uh, so how do we, this is an arrow, but how do we represent an arrow in a programming language? Uh, well, fairly easily, uh, because we notice that the arrow in two dimensions uh, can just be reduced to two numbers, one, the x component, and the y component. I'm going to call this the x velocity in our program. And I'm going to call this one the y velocity. So any arrow can be uh, changed into two numbers. So for example, let's say this arrow right here is represented by numbers 1, 1. Because if we say this is 1, then that is 1. Or maybe this arrow going down here, if we say that this this change in x is positive, so let's call that 1, and this change is y, it's going down, so that means it's negative. So it's going to be, let's say, minus 2, because it's bigger. Just eyeballing it. So that's going to be 1 minus 2. So that arrow is the numbers 1 minus 2. Uh, how about this arrow here? Well, it's going to be both negative numbers. Let's say this is uh, minus 1, and this is minus 1 also. That's going to be minus 1, minus 1. And so every arrow can be represented by the two numbers. Uh, more generally, we say that uh, V, you know, is the delta X and delta Y components. So V is the pair of numbers and V is the arrow. Uh, use that in physics. You just talk about V, the vector. Uh, but here we're going to need the actual two numbers. So, okay, let's get programming. Uh, we're going to use those two numbers to make the ball move. So first, we're going to need when clicked, and then immediately we're going to need the two variables. Like I said, we're going to need the x velocity. It's going to be only for this sprite, and the y velocity. This is only going to be for this sprite. And uh, so when we start out, I'm just going to set those to zero, to zero, zero. Let's start it by moving it. So it's going to start moving that way, one, one. So it's going to move up, right. Uh, then I'm going to need a little, my animation is going to be here in the forever loop. And uh, to animate it, uh, what I need to do is, I am going to change uh, its x location, say. So its x location 
is going to be its current x location plus its x velocity. Right. So I'm going to change it by x velocity. And similarly, the y. I'm going to change the y by this w. Uh, is y velocity. And uh, so you already saw it moving there. Back here. There. So I hit go and uh, it goes to 1 1. So it's going to go up in that direction and move back here. If I change this to minus 1 minus 1, what is it going to do? Let's try it out. And you see, yeah, it moves that way. And if I change it to uh, x velocity to 0, y velocity to minus 1, what's it going to do? It's going to go straight down, right? And if I change it to 0, 0, what's it going to do? Nothing. It's not going to move. So 0, 0, is the, it's got no velocity. OK, so that's pretty cool. But now what we want to do is you know, make it react to uh, my user when I press the arrow keys I wanted to change velocities uh, kind of like uh, you do in you know something like um, Angry Birds it doesn't change immediately um, but it changes uh, as by uh, addition of force this is the right way to say it but I'm just gonna do this for you to show you so basically, what I want to do is when I click the up arrow, I want it, his x velocity to increase, right? So to go up faster. And when I click the down arrow, I want his x velocity to decrease. Down. So up, down, left, right. So those are my four arrow keys. Uh, down left right and i haven't added anything but i'm going to do this so so when i hit the up arrow i'm going to change my x velocity uh no, no sorry y velocity so up is the y coordinate is up and i want to increase my y velocity by 0.1 and similarly change my so these are all going to be the same Except different. So when I hit the down arrow, I'm going to change my y velocity by minus 0.1. And the left arrow is the x coordinate, so the x velocity by minus 0.1, because it's negative to the left. And the right arrow, the x velocity is going to increase by 0.1. Okay. So now when I run it, it's at zero, but I'm going to place the right arrow here. You see the up, every time I hit it, the x velocity increases. So if I hit it more and more, it goes faster and faster and faster until you know reaches the end of the world. And I'm going to hit the left arrow, left, 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 left. So if I press and hold the left, uh, you know, it's going to increase a lot. So it moves faster and faster. So oh, there. So if I press and hold, I'm sort of moving the ball. And you see this look a lot like physics now. So the ball is moving kind of like a rocket. Uh, so I press and hold. I'm adding in forces. And the more I add the forces, the more it moves like that. Uh, now there's um, so one last thing. There's one force that we're all hopefully familiar with. It's called the force of gravity. Uh, gravity is always affecting us. So let's give this ball some gravity. And it's really easy. All we have to do to change, to give the gravity is add one line. We, gravity only affects the y velocity. And uh, in this case, is it going to uh, change? Oops, it's going to change the y velocity by minus one, say. Um, and that's going to be big enough. So if every time through the loop I change 
the y velocity and let's do this before we actually change coordinates doesn't matter really but uh, every time through the loop I change the ball's y velocity by minus one that means every time I'm going to add a little push down a little vector down right to that ball so when I run it it starts out you know, it goes down boom by itself um, I can uh, I went down pretty fast, so let me just okay. If I make it smaller, point say zero five, smaller number, it'll go down, but um, maybe not as fast. So I started and uh, oh, no, that's wrong. Two I've got two periods in there. There we go. Size so goes down. If I lift it up. I'll go down, but I can uh, hit the. I'm hitting the up arrow here. Um, let me just restart this. I'm gonna move this guy over here. Restart it at zero. So press the up arrow. Up, 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 up. Uh, no, it's not good enough. Uh, see, the gravity is still too much. So I can't get it to. Point zero so zero one. Let's try that. So there, I press the up arrow. I can get it to go up. I let go of the up arrow. It's still going up. But you see, the velocity is going down, 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 down because of gravity. And then now it's going to go down. See, now gravity starts to affect it. I can push it up. I'm holding the up arrow then so it's going up and then down I let go I push up push right so if you play with this you know with the cube you hold it you see it behaves a lot more like a real in this case balloon because I think my gravity is too slow there Let's put that back to 0.5. Yeah, 0.5 is too much too. Let's see if I hold it up. Let's type point 0.1 there. So if I hold it up now, yeah, now I have a better chance of getting it up and it goes up, but then gravity takes over. There it comes. Push it up too high. And three, two, one, zero. Now it starts to go negative. And then I can push it up. It goes up. It goes down. So you can play around with the gravity numbers to get it just to whatever gravity you want in your world. 